Well, I had the air conditioning on yesterday and the heat on today, Kevin. <laughs> yes, yeah, one of those kind. Of, must be May in North Dakota, right? Mm -hmm. I know we caved in and turned the AC on a couple of days ago. And the heater tonight, maybe with low 30s possible. Clouds will be clearing out. Really dropped off this afternoon. But the good side to all of this, it brought in some much cleaner, breathable air. And let's hope that continues. I do think we'll see a return to some smoke and haze, but hopefully more aloft like we've had the past couple days. Not so much surface based. That would be good, but for now, it's just great that we've got really clean air here. Clear skies, frosty weather possibility for tonight with at least our visibility in excess of 10 miles for many areas across the first warm viewing area. Now, there is a frost advisory officially for the western half of North Dakota, all of which issued by the National Weather Service Bismarck Forecast Office. Doesn't mean we won't see frosty weather to the east, northern Montana or South Dakota, but just do keep in mind here that we will have a touch of frost a good possibility, especially low-lying areas as we clear out and the wind decreases here for tonight and then becomes more light southerly for tomorrow. Conducive for some frost. 32 could have some temperatures here uh, that might go on for a couple of hours at or just below freezing. That would constitute a hard freeze, so that's a possibility, mainly in southwest North Dakota, but a bit more on the frosty side or patchy frost here for the Bismarck Mandan area, also for Minot. But again, it'll be cold and we are looking for improvement beyond tomorrow. In fact, we spring back to near 80 for highs in time for the first half of the weekend. It's cold right now, though 49 in Minot, 47 in Garrison, 50 in Bismarck Mandam, only 44 in Devils Lake. Even a report of maybe a couple of snow flurries earlier today around Lake Metagoshi. And again, we're looking at a cool, crisp evening here with that northwest wind averaging about 10 to 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. Not as strong as earlier today, and the wind gradually subsiding here the next several hours. So yes, hey, Easy for some, but not that unbreathable or hazardous air like we had yesterday returning. High pressure moving right in overhead tonight with clearing skies. Fairly light wind, really good development for that frosty potential here over central and western North Dakota, eastern Montana, South Dakota as well, with winds becoming light. And then for tomorrow, should be a, just a fabulous day here. A lot of sunshine to be expected here for our Friday. Mild temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s. Might see a few 70s back through Montana, but a return to near 80, as mentioned, in time for the weekend. But for the next couple of hours, we're going to see widespread 40s here by 8 or 9 o'clock skies. Uh, eventually clearing out overnight lows in the low to mid 30s, maybe a few upper 20s as well. And then for tomorrow should be an abundance of sunshine as our temperatures spring back into the mid to upper 50s by noon and afternoon between about 65 and 70 degrees for most. Just a little bit warmer back toward Montana. Glasgow already 75 will be there the following day. Highs between 75 and 80 on Saturday. Sunday looks superb as well. Low 80s, fairly light wind for the weekend. That's going to make it really enjoyable. And then mid 80s, even a chance for 90s for some next Monday and Tuesday. Can't wait for the warm up. That's Isn't that crazy nice. that we go from a heater tonight to back to AC maybe as early as Saturday? Uh, all right, I'm ready. I'm <laughs> yeah, ready. That's right.